Didik TV KPM Hi teacher Hi Chris Wow What is all this? Are we going to play a game? Ah, uh, it looks like it. What game do you think it is? Hmm, is it hopscotch? <laughs> yeah, no? maybe or maybe uh, a race car track. Yeah, it looks, it looks like, like a race one. car track. Oh. It, it, but look at that. Do you recognize what that is? Hmm. Oh, that looks like lungs, teacher. Yes, you are right. Those are okay. lungs. All right. Mm. What about this one in the middle? Oh. I can hear the sound. Is this a heart? Yes, you are absolutely right. Okay. So actually, Chris, what we will do, we will play something that's got to do with human blood circulatory system. Wow! Okay, I am so excited. Are you excited? Okay, let's go. Okay, so these arrows. Mm -hmm. everyone, welcome to Tahap Dua only on Didet TV KPM. My name is Chris and I'm here with you today for our subject of Science DLP, Tahun Lima, together with Teacher Nina. Hi, Teacher. Hi, Chris. Hello, everyone. Hi. So everyone say hi, Teacher. Okay. Now, we, there's another teacher that we should welcome, which is Teacher Shida as our sign language interpreter for this episode. Hi, Teacher Shida. Okay, well, Teacher Nina, I yeah. am so excited to play this game. But mm. what does this game have to do with our topic for today? What are we learning, Teacher? Okay, actually, we will be learning about blood in our body. Ooh, no wonder you're wearing red today. <laughs> yes, you okay. represent blood. Okay, so before we go into blood per se, let's look back. Recap what we have learned in year 3, okay. year 4 and a little bit earlier in year 5. Alright. Because we will we would like everyone to know what blood is for. Why do we need blood in our body? Mm, so when okay. we recap back what we have learned, so you you'll find that oh yeah, oh yeah, no wonder. Okay. okay. Shall I start? Sure, sure. Okay. So what does blood do in our body? First, let's look at our digestive system. This one we have learned in year three. So you, if you remember, Chris, yeah. we learned that when we eat, the food goes into our mouth and then esophagus and then to the stomach, and intestines, and also it will go out through the anus. Mm. But um, how does the nutrients from the food travel to other parts of the body. Okay. We know that we need carbohydrate for yes. energy, we need protein for growth, we need vitamins and minerals yep. uh, to keep us healthy. But it does not end at the anus, right? It needs to go everywhere else in the body. So who brings that nutrients? It's the blood. Oh, ah, so that is okay. why blood is important in digestive system. All right. Okay. So in the picture here, in the slide, you can see that is in the small intestine. Okay. So you can see the small, small uh, villi, we call them. So blood, um, the nutrients will uh, go into the bloodstream there. Ah. So inside the intestine. Wow. So that is okay. where the carbohydrates, your calcium, your magnesium, your vitamins and everything will go into the bloodstream and will be transported to all parts of our body. Wow, that is so ah, interesting. Okay. okay, let's look at the second system which we have learned in year three. Respiratory system. We breathe in and we breathe out. Why do we need to breathe? Do you still remember? <laughs> to live, teacher. <laughs> yeah, to live because yeah. our body needs oxygen. Ah. But when we learn in year four, we notice that, okay, it um, from the nose goes through the trachea okay. and then to the lungs and then it will change to carbon dioxide and go back to the trachea and out through the nose. Yeah. But what about other parts of the body? How can they get the oxygen that we need? Mm. Again, everyone, 
It's the blood. The blood will bring all the oxygen that we need to all parts of our body. Okay. To our toes, to our fingers, our earlobes, our eyes. Okay. So we need blood for that. I see. Mm. Right. Okay. So, um, if you remember, in year 4, we learned that the lungs is where the oxygen and also carbon dioxide exchange. Ah, that's the small balls, eh? if you remember the name, yeah. alveoli. Alveoli. Ah, okay, so yeah. that is where blood will take in the oxygen and release carbon dioxide back to the lungs. Okay, ah, okay. so can you now connect what we have learned before and today's topic? Yes, teacher. Okay. Alright, next one is skeletal system. Oh. I hope you still remember the five bones in our body, the skull, the ribs, the backbone, the hand and leg bones. Okay, so what uh, people sometimes say, they do not know that actually inside of the bones are also blood. Oh. There is blood inside our bones. I didn't know ah, that. Ah, yes. Wow. It has blood inside. Why? Because Okay, remember back um, we just saw about digestive system? Yeah. So, protein. We need protein for growth. So, we need our bones to grow too. Right. So, how can the food, the protein we eat goes to the bones? Your finger bones? Ah. How? So, from the blood. So, the blood with the protein, with all the nutrients, will travel into the bones and give the protein for the bones to grow okay. and also other parts of the body. Alright, so okay. the respiratory system, the digestive system and the yeah. skeletal system. Yes, okay. you are right. So Chris, yeah. one misconception about blood. Okay, I have something to show you here. Okay. So this is ah, the very uh, intricate network of our blood vessels, our blood system. Sometimes people might think that blood is like it's in our body just like that, like a glass of water, a glass <laughs> of syrup. Yeah. But it's not. It is not like just stagnant there. Okay. Blood moves, blood flows each and every second. Wow. It's it is moving and okay. it's not just like that. It goes through these very intricate vessels. You can imagine blood just like a train. Like a train? Like a train. It has a railway mm. where it goes to stations. Wow. And it picks up oxygen, okay. nutrients from all over the places mm. uh, to, to distribute, to transport uh, to those uh, organs and parts of our body that needs oxygen and also nutrients. Okay. So the oxygen and nutrients are like the passengers uh -huh. and blood is the train. Yes, ah. exactly. Ah. Okay, okay. So I hope everyone is clear now why blood is really important. Okay. Because uh, without blood, what's going to happen? Mm. Yeah, what's going to happen without blood? Can you think? Can you guess? Mm. Ah, okay. If you can think back about digestive sy system, without blood, how can all the nutrients be transported, be distributed to other parts of the body? Ah, mm -hmm. so remember everyone, we have three systems, mm -hmm. right teacher? So respiratory system, digestive system, and skeletal, skeletal. system. Oh. Alright, so everyone, are you having fun so far? I am. I am excited to play this game. I'm not sure why <laughs> we're playing yet. But teacher, is it okay if we take a short break? Oh, okay. Okay, so pupils watching at home, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with teacher Nina only on Direct TV KPM. So this Hi everyone, welcome to Tahab Dua only on DDA TV KPM and today we are learning Science DLP Tahun Lima together with teacher Nina and what is the topic for today teacher? Human blood circulatory system. Human blood circulatory system, it's a yep. mouthful but what are we going to learn next teacher? Okay, so now what we are going to look at is how does blood flow in our body? 
Uh, like I told okay. you, uh, before blood is not like a, a glass of uh, red water inside our body. It yeah. flows. Right. And it's only one way. One way. Only. One way. There's okay. no like up and There's down. There's no up and down, uh, left and right. Okay. On the <laughs> same way. route. Okay. okay. But before that, we need to know the four main parts of our body that are involved in human blood circulatory system. Okay. Let's go one by one. First one, if you look here, this is our um, chest area. Uh -huh. So we have the lungs. And if you remember, um, our heart is actually um, behind our left lung. Ah, so that's why our left lung is a little bit smaller than the right. So here we can see the heart is there. Oh, don't worry. You got the lungs. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is just a model for you to okay, okay. see. Okay. So first part, the, the heart. What does the heart do in our human blood circulatory system? The blood acts like a pump. It will pump blood to all parts of our body. Okay. To our legs, our hands, our um, head, even to the lungs. So we need this pump, this really good and very strong pump for us mm. to be able to have those blood running smoothly to other parts of the body. Okay. Without the heart, the blood will just flow and then there's no energy, there's no power right. for it. Ah. Okay. So that is the use of the heart. heart. Okay, okay. Next is the blood itself, uh, the red liquid inside our body. It is so essential, but some people are afraid of it. Yes, <laughs> I cannot teach you. <laughs> you cannot? Yeah, oh, I cannot okay. see blood. Yeah. But I hope by today you will see the importance of blood. Okay. Why is it very important? Okay. So blood, actually like I told you, blood is like a train. Mm. It will transport, it will bring um, food, nutrients, it will bring oxygen, and also water, ah, water, ah. and also waste products. For example, carbon dioxide. Mm. It will bring them uh, to the essential parts. Okay, so that is the use of blood. Next is the blood vessel. The blood vessel is intricate, um, like the railways, ah. uh, the routes where the uh, blood goes. I if you can see here, the it's um, red and blue, but in real life, it's not actually red and blue. Okay. It's all red. But the blood vessels actually does not have colour. It is colourless. If you see, um, maybe sometimes you see uh, our veins, it looks bluish. No, it's just um, because of a light. Ah. So it's actually, it's colourless. Blood colorless. vessels are actually colourless. Okay, okay. So blood vessels, they, uh, it's, they, uh, it's like a tube mm. that allows blood to flow to the whole body. Uh, so we need it this uh, blood vessel to be very um, clear uh, with clear path so mm. that the blood will flow easily. Okay. Okay. And the last one is the lungs. Lungs is where oxygen and also carbon dioxide exchange occurs as we have learned before in science year 4. So remember when we breathe in, we will take in uh, oxygen and then when we breathe out, the carbon dioxide will be taken out from the lungs. Yeah. Okay, so now Chris. Yes, teacher. Ah, the moment that you've been waiting for. Okay, now, so what we have here is a floor plan of the pathway of blood. Oh. How does blood move? Like I say, it's only one way. Like okay. In one blood vessel, it's only one way. If it goes down, it will go down. It will okay. go up in the same route. All okay. Right. Okay, now um, I'm going to show you first ah. how the blood actually moves. Okay. When we breathe in, it, uh, your um, air, the air will go through the, the oxygen, nose, right? yes, okay. and then your trachea and to the lungs. So the lungs with oxygen, blood, the blood vessel will take in the oxygen and it will move to the ha, heart, to the pump, to the oh. heart. Why does it need to move to the part? Why not directly to all the other parts of the body? Because like I said, we need the energy, the, the, right. uh, the, the power. The ah, yes. Okay. okay, so from the heart, it will pump and then it will go through to other parts of the body. Ah, okay. Okay, so at the other parts of the body, when oxygen has been used up, that oxygen will be exchanged to carbon dioxide. Ah. 
Ah, okay. so, and then the other vessel will take the blood with more carbon dioxide back to the heart and then the heart will pump it back again and move it, move the blood to back to the lungs. And at the lungs, the blood with more carbon dioxide, the carbon dioxide will be... Um, exhaled? Yes, will be exhaled through the trachea and nose. <sighs> so all that happens in one breath? <laughs> wow! Yeah. Yes! Okay. That flow is very, very... Um, very uh, high speed. High speed, okay. <laughs> yes. So, so what are we going to do now, teacher? Okay. Because we <laughs> have set it on yeah. the floor, so we are going to walk. Okay. Okay, walk and I'll, I'll show yours? you. Okay. Yes, okay. I'll show you me as the blood with oxygen. Oxygen okay. rich blood, okay? So, oxygen rich blood, um, uh, the pathway will be. Wait, teacher. We have huh. to take a deep breath first. Oh, yeah. To get oxygen. Okay, okay. okay. one, two, three. Okay. Oxygen rich blood. Okay. Right. So from the lungs, from the lungs. Okay, we will move, we will walk, we will go to the heart. And then whoop, pump it. Pump, pump it. it. Okay. And then it will be transported to all other parts of the body, to your legs, to your hips, to your fingers, to your earlobes, to your eyes. Okay. And at parts of the body, the oxygen will be used up mm. and we will expel carbon dioxide. Okay. okay, now Chris, now it's your turn to show how does the blood with more carbon dioxide compared to the previous one move back to the heart and to the lungs. Okay, Go. so from the rest of the body, mm -hmm. the blood will then flow back to the heart. And over here at the heart, mm -hmm. the heart will pump, Boop. giving it more pressure mm -hmm. and it will flow out of the heart mm -hmm. and bring the blood and carbon dioxide and all the other waste material to the lungs. Yes! And will the blood stop there? Uh, no, did you? No, I don't think it will so. continue. Oh, okay. it continues. So yes, it... so now oh. it will be oxygen rich because remember we... <sighs> yeah, we breathe. Right? Yeah. yeah, so... Ah, one more time. Oh. But it goes simultaneously. It will never stop. That's why we call it a circulatory system. Oh, so it goes ah. at the same time. Yes. So, in actual scenario, okay. me and you will be moving yes. at the same time? Yes, I'll okay. be moving. Okay, you, okay, I'll be moving. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay. Ah. Ah. okay, then I go back there. Huh? Yes. Okay. Ah, yeah, so good. now you see how blood actually moves in our body. It's not like a stagnant, like a uh, like a block, just like that. Mm. It moves. Okay? Okay. Uh -huh. So, and now you understand the importance of keeping our heart healthy. Mm. Right? Teacher, can I try it one more time? Okay. Can I? Okay. okay, now, so, um, let's you see. start from... Okay, where do you want... I'll, I'll start from the lungs. Alright. Okay, okay, so, so everyone, you... let's do it together, okay? Kay. So, can I take a deep breath? Everyone take a deep breath. Okay. okay, so the oxygen, the mm -hmm. blood will carry the oxygen from the lungs mm -hmm. and go to the heart. And here at the heart, the heart will pump the blood mm -hmm. and whoop, and it will go out and go to the rest of the body, teacher. Yes. So this is where it goes to the brain, your oh, eyes, yes. everywhere in the body. And then from there, the oxygen will exchange with carbon, carbon dioxide. dioxide. Yes. And then the yes. blood will then go back to the heart and whoop, pump and go back to the lungs. lungs. So is that correct, teacher? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So how many marks do I get, okay. teacher? Okay, uh, since you have done both yeah. ways, I think you deserve three times two stars. Three six times stars. six stars. Okay, thank you everyone for helping me as well with this activity. But uh, can we take a short break, teacher? Okay. All right, so our friends watching at home, don't go anywhere. Okay, we'll be right back with teacher Nina for Tahap 2 Science DLP.
KPM. Hello everyone, welcome to Slot Tahap Duo with me Chris MJ as well as teacher Nina for our topic today which is Science DLP Tahun 5 Blood Circulatory System Is that correct teacher? Yes, you are okay, right Okay, alright So what are we going to learn next teacher? Okay, now we need to know what are the importance of our body systems and how to take good care of them Okay Okay so, um, we need all our systems to be working perfectly because we need to survive, we need to live yeah. for all our life processes to go on smoothly. We need to breathe smoothly, excrete, defecate, all that you have learned in year 3, year 4 and year 5. Okay. So, that is why it is really important for us to take good care of our body because our body does a lot of things inside that we cannot see but it's really important. Okay, the first one. Uh, this is actually a picture of a blood vessel okay. that has become narrow. Can you see? The, the yellow part is actually some cholesterol plaque. Okay. Ah, so you can see it, is, it has become narrow. And can you imagine all the blood? It will not get to flow through smoothly because it has become narrow. So why does that happen? Cholesterol comes from food that we eat. Ah. Ah. Okay. Some parts of our body also produce cholesterol, but just enough. But when we eat too much cholesterol outside of fat, food, so yeah. our vessel, our uh, blood vessels will become clogged. Okay. And so how can we prevent that? Mm, can mm. you give any ideas, Chris? Okay, so we should eat food with lesser cholesterol content. Uh -huh. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah, to make sure our diet is healthy. Yes. We need to eat um, in a balanced balanced diet. Yes, you are right. Teacher, I do have a question. Yes. What happens when the blood vessels become narrow actually? Why is it dangerous? Because when the blood vessel become narrow, so blood will become, um, it is less oxygen that can be transported ah, to other parts. Imagine okay. if less oxygen goes to your brain oh. and you'll become, I don't know, forgetful or not very wise. Mm, uh, okay, like okay. That. So, to prevent it is to eat food with lesser cholesterol. Is that correct, teacher? Yes, yes. you are right. Okay, next okay. one. Ha, huh, this x-ray scan shows a problem Ooh. with this person's lung because he has been experiencing persistent cough and shortness of breath. Oh no. Okay, why do you think people have that <coughs> non-stop and also <sighs> why, Chris? Mm, is it is it because they is something wrong with their lungs? Aha! Uh -huh. Something like wrong with their lungs? The alveol, alveoli? Alveol, yes, alveoli. But it, it has more to do with our lifestyle. Oh. If we keep a good and healthy lifestyle, we might prevent this. Ah! Ah! Okay, I think I know how to prevent okay, this. Okay, alright. Can we listen to? Uh, stop smoking! Yes! Stop yeah. smoking no and get away from people who smoke because mm. you can be a secondary smoker okay, too. Ah, okay. So is that correct? Stop smoking. Yes, that is absolutely right. And right. last but not least, we need to exercise regularly to ensure a strong heart. Mm. Ah, because um, our, when we exercise, our heart becomes stronger and it will pump blood more efficiently. Ah, okay. okay, okay. Ah, so Chris, yeah. do you do this exercise regularly? Do you do that? Yes, I do. I exercise every day, teacher. Yes, I go to the park and good jog. No, okay. Yeah. Teacher, uh, I do have a question. Mm -hmm. Um, I do sometimes when I go to shopping malls. I do see people donating blood, ah. even in shopping malls or even in the yes. hospitals. Why do people donate blood, teacher? Okay, um, we have to know that some people are not really blessed with good health. Some mm. people have uh, some blood-related problems. Maybe their blood cells are not really healthy Ooh. or they do not produce good quality blood. Okay. So because now we have learned how important blood is, so we need that right amount of blood. Okay, so that is why people who lack that healthy blood, they need the donations from I people see. with healthy blood. Okay, well teacher, looks like we have come to the end of today's episode but before that, maybe you could share with us a summary of what we have just learned today, teacher. Okay, so we have learned what are the body systems that mm. are connected to blood. I think it's everything has got to yeah. do with blood and also the four main parts of our body that are involved in blood circulatory system, the yeah. heart, the lungs, the blood vessels and also the blood and also why is it important to keep our body healthy 
um, to ensure that our circulatory system and also all the systems run smoothly and we can survive. Yes, and so teacher, I also like to ask you, mm -hmm. how did me and my friends at home do for this lesson today? Okay, because you have done everything correctly, I, I am impressed with how you have showed everyone how blood actually flows in our body. So I think you deserve six stars, Chris. Six stars! Okay, we'll share it with my friends watching at home as well. Okay, so with that, I just want to say a big thank you to teacher Nina as well as teacher Shida um, for, as our sign language interpreter for this episode. And before I forget, teacher, mm -hmm. how can we get extra materials for today's fun ah, lesson? Besides the textbook, mm. this is actually from the textbook, you can also Look at the Lima KPM website. Don't ah, forget that. Okay, don't forget it, everyone. So once again, thank you, Teacher Nina. Thank you, Teacher Shida. And thank you for watching. We will see you again only on Dread TV KPM. Bye. Bye. Okay, so this one. Thank you.